want to be a real oh, fairy. This is it. Oh, Fizz, you'll be a beautiful princess in that dress. Mm, I know. I need some fairy clothes. Oh, what's up, Bella? I quite like that curtain. <laughs> oh, so what have we here? Two brave knights. Yeah. And a princess. Oh, I can see that. Oh, and what about you, Bella? She's a curtain. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not anything yet. I need some beautiful fairy wings and a wand to be a fairy. Hmm. Yeah, I see what you mean. Oh, what, what about this? No, not a cowboy. A fairy. Oh, well, we'll have to find out what a fairy needs, <laughs> won't we? Oh, Max. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Where will it stop? Story time! Now, let's see. Fairies, fairies, fairy. Ah! Oh, that's not a fairy. That's a princess. Like me. That's right, Fizz. A very special princess. But why was she special? Well, there's a story about this princess. And a fairy? Well, there was a prince knight. Oh, oh, just, just like, like us. us. And a fairy? Well, uh, there was a good fairy here yeah? oh. and a bad fairy. Ooh. Oh, that's you, Bella. The bad fairy. <laughs> I am not. I'm the good fairy. Oh, look, she's got lovely wings and a wand. That's what I need. <laughs> What's the story, Max? Well, Fizz, a long time ago, when this princess was born, the king and queen had a party. Oh. They invited all the fairies who cast magic spells over the princess. Oh. They gave her beauty, yes. happiness, oh. kindness. Oh. Yeah. oh, yes, fairies can do that. But there was one fairy who had not been invited. And before the last fairy gave her wish, the bad fairy appeared in a puff of dark smoke. Oh, oh, no. Here is my wish, said the bad fairy. When the princess is 16, she will prick her finger on a spindle and die. Oh, that's a horrible wish. Oh, yeah. Max. Oh, but there's still the good fairy. I bet she makes things right. The good fairy could not cancel the bad fairy's spell. Oh. But she did say... The princess will prick her finger, but she will not die. Good. She will fall asleep for a hundred years. Oh. Sleep for a hundred years. Oh, you'd need a massive breakfast after that. A hundred sausages <laughs> and a thousand slices of toast. <laughs> <laughs> the king and queen ordered every spindle in the land to be destroyed. Mm. And the princess lived happily and safely until she was 16. Oh, good. But then, on her sixteenth birthday, she went up to the tallest tower in the castle. And there, she found an old lady sat at a spinning wheel. Oh, oh said the princess. May I help you? Of course, said the old lady. And the princess sat by the spinning wheel. Oh, I don't think she should. Well, no. as soon as she sat down, she pricked her finger. Oh. The old woman was really the bad fairy. Oh, no. The princess fell into a deep sleep. So did the king and the queen. In fact, everyone in the palace. Then a great big hedge grew up around the palace, covering it in branches. Oh, oh now they'll be lost forever. Well, we'll see. A hundred years later, a gallant prince rode by. Ah. And seeing the palace, he used his sword to cut through the hedge. Yeah. Now, once inside, he walked past all the sleeping people to the room where the princess was. Wow, she must have been very old. Oh, she was very beautiful. He kissed her gently, and she woke up. <laughs> oh! The curse was broken! Oh. And the prince and princess were married and lived happily ever 